Hello guys, how's it going today? As you can probably already tell by the title of this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into product research and actually more in particular using the Jungle Scout web app to help us find products on Amazon that we can sell and hopefully build our business from by having that great first product. But before we get into that video, I've got a few things I want to mention first, one of which is gonna benefit every single person watching this video. So the first thing I wanna go over is that when you're doing your product research for Amazon, you don't wanna just be doing one method. So even if you do get a Jungle School web app, which is a great idea, I really recommend it to help you find products you might not have otherwise thought of, you still wanna be doing other product research methods, whether that be paid research methods or free product research methods, which there are many of, and some of which have already been over on my YouTube channel if you wanna check out those videos. Um, by using various different product research methods, you're more likely to find a good product faster and just more likely to find a great product really because by using one product research method, you're limiting yourself to what that one method shows you. And by using some of the free methods, you might find a product that you might otherwise not find using just the web app, one that you can improve on, make better and actually maybe a better opportunity. Um, so you wanna do a bunch of different ones and you're more likely to find a product faster. And it's just the best way to do it to one rather than relying just on the web app to do all the work for you. Um, the second thing is that in this video, there's going to be a huge giveaway. And the way that's going to work is one out of every 50 unique commenters. So if 100 people comment, then two people win. So that lucky person out of every 50 is going to get a free Jungle Scout web app one month subscription on me completely for free. Um, so if you just comment down below, relevant comment, anything like that, I'll answer every question anyway. But one out of every 50 people will get that web app completely for free. And you can implement some of the training I'm showing you here in this video. So I really hope you've enjoyed that guys. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I won't hold you any longer. Let's get straight into this video. So this is actually the Jungle Scout web app and this is what you'll find when you're trying to find products um, to try and filter through them because the Jungle Scout web app offers us something very unique that you can't really do by yourself without using a software. So when you're trying to think of products, you might think of stuff around your house, stuff that you use and these types of things, maybe stuff that a family member has recommended to you, but there's only so much you can think of. So by using a research tool like Jungle Scout, this is gonna show you products that you may not have thought of. They're actually great opportunities that just don't spring to mind when you think of selling stuff because what most people sell is things they never actually use themselves or something they never would have thought of like on their own. So this can be a great way to find products you never would have thought of and just basically help you find as many products as possible because it can be really hard to think of any product at all that would be good for Amazon. So the way we do this is we first come over and go to the product database. Then we got a brought up of this page. So obviously I'm in the UK. Um, that's the main people that I talk to is people doing Amazon in the UK. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is go to the drop down menu and select United Kingdom because it will be automatically set for the United States. So once we're set on that, we want to go ahead and choose the categories we want to search in. So these are the normal categories I like to search in. Obviously you can go a bit more adventurous and search in some other ones, but these are the ones that I most like to search for and do my products in. Most of the ones that I've deselected are ones that I just don't particularly like selling in or they're gated categories, which means you need approval to sell in them or just basic things like that, or I just don't think you really find many products in them. So these are the um, options I select for the categories. And then we come across to the filters. And this is by far the most important bit. And this is the bit that most people mess up on by following a strict criteria. So what most people have probably heard is search for products between 15 and 30 pounds, because this is a good area to search for. If it's much cheaper than that, it can be very, very hard to uh, make a profit and do things like that. Um, but if it's over 30 pounds, you're gonna need a lot more money to be actually afford it, because to buy a 40 pound product you're gonna sell on Amazon from China, it's obviously gonna cost you quite a bit to actually purchase that unit in the first place. So you'll need more money and things like that. So that's why we normally say between 15 and 30 pounds is kind of the sweet point. And then we've got the reviews. You don't need to be too competitive. Um, and then we've got the sales down here where you want it to have enough sales that you're not just gonna buy 500 units and they're gonna take say eight or nine months to sell out because after six months, Amazon's gonna charge you long-term storage fees. So. We wanna make sure they're selling enough units to make, up, make it worth our time and that we can actually make some money from it, not one or 200 pounds a month. So that's just a basic overview. Obviously there is some other things here like the rating of the product, the weight of the product, uh, the number of sellers, how good their listing is and all things like this. But 
you're just over complicating it. You really don't need to do that. So if we just go ahead, put in these um, normal things here, and just before I actually do that, I've just noticed I've ticked standard tier here instead of oversized. And this is basically the size of the product and how Amazon determines it, um, how big it is. I can't remember the exact measurements, but I might put them in the description below. Once the product goes over a certain size, it's deemed as oversized product. And then you're gonna get higher fees for Amazon to ship it and pick it and pack it and do all that kind of stuff. So don't steer away from this. I might even go ahead and untick this because it's fine to sell oversized products. A lot of people will say avoid it, but if every single person's avoiding it, then there's actually a great market there to go for them because even if it is oversized and you get charged higher fees for it, that doesn't mean you can't still make profit. It just means your Amazon fees are gonna be higher. But if you can sell it for a higher price, then why does that even matter? Um, just for the sake of this video though, I'm just gonna go for standard just to make it a bit easier. And I'm gonna go ahead and search here and see what products we find by searching with that criteria. So straight away now we've got some products. We've got total results 5,500. So this is quite a few. Um, you wanna go ahead and set your display to 200 so you don't constantly have to go next page, next page, just something to make it a bit easier for you guys. And now we just have to go through and look at products that we think would be very easy, very light, maybe very cheap, um, just very good products that we think would be really good for Amazon. So let's go ahead. We've got a rugby head guard that's very light, very small. Um, open that link. And this is basically just what we do. We just go through and look at products. So sofa protector, that can be very small, packaged really small, um, probably low Amazon fees. Um, glass mugs, perfect. Open link in your tab. Got some ski gloves. We'll open those, but by the title, we already probably know they're gonna be very, very seasonal. So they mainly sell at one time of year, which isn't really great for us. We don't wanna be selling our product for maybe two or three months and the rest of the year have hardly any sales. So we might just go ahead and look at that one quickly, but we probably know it's going to be seasonal. Um, we go down here, we've got a some kind of sofa slip cover. Okay, that's perfect, open that up. Um, got a little mini Hoover. It is electrical, so with electrical, I wouldn't completely avoid it. Maybe for your first product, there might be a good idea not to go with something as complicated as this, but electricals are, it, for the most part, fine to sell. You just have to kind of expect a higher return rate. And that doesn't even mean the product's bad. It just means that a lot of people buying products, basically you, just, you can't help human stupidity, basically. No matter what you sell, sometimes there's always gonna be a customer who just cannot work it, uh, does something wrong, and they're gonna wanna return it and blame the product, but you're just gonna have to expect that. So maybe something you want to avoid um, for your first product, but there's not really, you don't need to avoid electrics um, completely. So if we keep going down here, um, we've asked puppy dry foods, so we don't really wanna go for that. We've got a mattress topper, perfect, another good thing. So there's no really need to like keep going through and doing all these, because you guys can, you can see what I'm doing here. Um, actually, what was that we just seen then? Um, so yeah, coat hangers, perfect. Velvet coat hangers, open those, a link in a new tab. So we've got loads of products now that should all be opened up here um, in Amazon where you can go ahead and see their listings. And once we've got all of these open, we wanna go ahead and take the main keyword. And it's very, very important we take the main keyword. And I've made a video on this, why it's so important. I'll link that in a card above, um, why it's so important to, to take the main keyword because different keywords will give different results. So if for example, I'm trying to search for an iPhone case, if I type in black big iPhone case, that's gonna bring me results that maybe aren't as good for that product. Whereas if I type in iPhone case, that keyword is gonna show a lot more sales, a lot more competition. It's gonna be a lot of different results because more people are gonna be competing for iPhone case because it's a better keyword, more people are searching it. So you're gonna get different results. You wanna make sure you're searching for the most popular keyword. So if we're looking for this one, it might be ski gloves, probably the most popular keyword. Um, this one would be sofa slip cover, very simple. Um, which product is this? So, Holfi Blender. I don't know, maybe not a great listing. His title's only got about four words, so that's pretty terrible. Um, mattress topper would be the main keyword. So then we take the main keyword here. We would copy that, put it into Amazon's search bar, and then hit paste. And then once all the results come up, we will just go onto the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, run that, go through it, look at all the numbers, look at the Google Trends, and do all these types of things. And I'm gonna go into on the next video, um, after this one, how to do all that stuff. So subscribe to the channel for that, when I'm gonna do a full breakdown of the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So I've shown you how that works, but if we just go back to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension for a second, there's something else we can do. So 
when we're looking at this, we're looking at something very, very broad, um, like 15 to 30 pounds, under 200 reviews, over 250 sales. Like I said, we found over 5,000 results. That's really, really broad. So what I like to do is I like to almost micromanage certain areas. So if we went ahead now and took this and took it to 19 pounds 90, or not even that, 19 pounds 54. And the reason I'm putting 54 there is because a lot of products will be uh, priced at like 19.99, 19.97. So if we just put 20 pounds there, we'd miss out on these products. So if we just go ahead and put 19.54, uh, it's gonna include all the products up to 20 pounds um, and that kind of general thing. So if we go ahead and do that, then let's go ahead and set this down to 130. I'm really, I'm not even thinking about this guys. I'm just setting just random, random stuff. If I even take this 31 down and take it to 23, get the sales and let's chuck them up to um, 300, search for that. There's no strict criteria. Just, I say this to people all the time and I just don't, really don't think it's actually getting across. Just mess up the criteria as much as physically possible. Just search everything because you're gonna find loads and loads of different things you wouldn't otherwise have found. So we've got 530 results here. Um, so what kind of stuff do we have? So we've got curtains. Um, they could be pretty good, very like thick blackout curtains. Again, we've got that sofa protector, so that could be a possible good one. Um, wall shelf sets, perfect. Um, keep going. So again, we've still got that um, protector there. We've got a diffuser. That could be another good thing. Um, we've got a car seat cover, so like for the boot, for the dog, to keep everything clean. Um, wooden waste bin, perfect. That might be oversized, but if we can still make profit on it, then that's fine. It doesn't matter that it's oversized. Uh, we've got some muscle stimulators here. Nothing wrong with that. Um, ski, knee-high ski socks. Obviously, they might be seasonal again, um, but you never know. Compostable, 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 a weird word. Um, paper caddy bin, perfect, really light, really small, really cheap to get from China. So we, you can see all the different products we found just by using that different search criteria. So once we've done that, we might wanna go up to 250 reviews. And don't get worried here, guys, how high that review is, because the products we're being shown is from one seller. So for example, one seller could have maybe a thousand reviews, but everyone else selling that product could have 10 reviews. So we're just trying to find products and the, pers the people that we find, that one person might have 600 reviews. But when we actually search that product and use the Chrome extension, it might not be that competitive because we're only looking at a single seller of a product here. So if I go ahead and type 350 reviews and then go for 350 sales, um, let's take this back down to 1493. Um, we'll take this to 18 pounds, search that. Um, in fact, you might even go for a weight and put a weight in maximum of three. So just literally do as much as you can, mess it up, chuck it around, stuff that you even don't think will work, just do it. And you never know what kind of products you might find. So we've got um, crystal uh, tumbler glasses, perfect. Um, flasks, some of those knee high socks again. Um, 12 inch, is that 12? No, 12 inch, 12 out uh, travel mug, another perfect small product. So every time I'm messing up and doing something different, um, chimney droughter, I'm finding completely different products. They're all still really, really good, like potential products that we could launch. So that's really the main point I wanna get across here is the more you test, the more you try, the more like different things you can do. We've got some Egyptian cotton, I don't even know what that is, um, bed sheets there. So perfect, really light, really small, probably cheap to buy. The more you test, the more you try, the more like different things you do and just like do completely wild stuff, change the price, look between 15 and 17 pounds, then look between um, 20 and 29 pounds, then look of products that are selling 500 or more, selling 200 or more with um, 60 reviews, with 500 reviews max, with 300 reviews minimum. Just do as much as you can. Look at just oversized items, see how that goes. Just do as much as you can. And even if you find nothing, at least you've tried them because other people aren't doing that. If I searched here, 1493, or even, let's say, how do I do this? So 2893, all the way up to 37 pounds, for example. I did 200 and did 80 for the minimum. For the minimum number of sales, I did 200, maximum number of sales. Let's go for 349. 
Um, that's the max weight. Um, do a max listing quality score of six. I don't recommend going this in depth with it, but even if we did that, who else is searching that exact criteria? Probably no one. I don't, how many products have we found? So we only have 16 products. That's a bit too um, tight in the search criteria, but so what we found here. So frying pan, that could even like be a good product. Um, um, bathroom door um, storage. So bathroom door storage, that's one we didn't find before. What's this? Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know what they are. Uh, memory phone pillow. So these are products. We didn't find those products before doing the other product research, research methods even. If we search for a few pages, you might have got to them, but who else was searching this exact criteria? Probably no one. So I've potentially found products that no one else is gonna find. So just do what, as much as you can to find random, just complete random, as much randomness as you can possibly go, like I've done here. Just try and find as weird as you can. And then in the next video, we're gonna go through how to use the Chrome extension to actually test these products to see if they're actually good or not. And look at the Google Trends, use Camel Camel Camel. Um, really how I diagnose and break down products and even going into their listings and looking at things we can improve on and just basically breaking everything down to do with product research. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video guys and potentially learned something new. I've got another video on my channel that goes through like really, really in depth, all the filters, why we search for them, um, the different things that Amazon does when we search for filters and really breaking that down. So I'll attach that on a card above now as well. Uh, or you can just go to my channel and check that out. But like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe and enter the competition down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Oh,